If you had asked me what I wanted as a birthday gift when I was younger, I would have definitely asked for Harry Potter's Nimbus 2000. That broomstick could take you anywhere. Technology has developed over time, and due to it, we have been able to convert a lot of our previously impossible wishes into reality. No, no one has created the Nimbus 2000 yet, but something quite similar and much safer than it has been created. Any guesses? Well, you guessed that right. Flying cars. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Before we get into the rest of the video, please do drop this video a like and subscribe to our channel. So, not so long ago, on the 10th of October 2022, the first flying car was sent on a public test drive, and yes, this was possible without whipping out a spell. Xpeng Motors, a major Chinese electric vehicle and technology company, was the mastermind behind the creation of the flying car which they named Xpeng X2. Before any product is deemed safe to be used by the public, a test is conducted. The Xpeng X2 also had to undergo a test to show its abilities to the world. So the company that had worked on building this flying car decided to test this car in Dubai, where it flew in the air, owing all the spectators who stood below and watched it fly around. And the best part is, the spectators included quite a few experts in the field. To know more about who these spectators were and why they were gathered here, keep watching this video till the very end. But why did they choose to test it in Dubai and not anywhere else? Well, first of all, taking this product to the international market would be a big deal. And what better way to promote their product internationally than by promoting it in one of the most lively and happening cities in the world that also happens to be filled with quite millionaires and billionaires who pose as suitable investors. According to Ming Wan Kui, the general manager of Xpeng Aerot, Dubai was the place chosen to test out the product as Dubai is the most innovative city in the world. Logically speaking, that was a pretty smart move from their side. I'm pretty sure you already must be imagining yourself buying one of these bad boys in the future, so let us intrigue you with some specs of the flying car. This eVTOL flying car is a two-seater vehicle that provides its passengers with quite a luxurious experience. For those of you wondering what eVTOL means, it is a type of aircraft model that is the acronym for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft. The Xpeng X2 took off from the Skydive Dubai platform on the opening day of the Gitex Global Technology Expo, owing the various experts who were present there on that day. It was stated that around 150 conference attendees and officials were present there on that day. Everyone had their eyes up, and they were so privileged to be one of the first viewers of what the future would be like. The inaugural flight of the vehicle lasted a good 90 seconds, and that is pretty impressive time span to be flying in the air. Impressive. Thankfully, nobody assumed the Xpeng X2 to be a UFO though it totally could have pretended to be one. Well, thinking in those terms, that could be a great marketing strategy for the Chinese brand, don't you think? This public test had people talking and people wanted more. Word in the news is that the company is going to try to make Europe its next testing grounds and see how it goes there. Europe comes with a totally different user base and climate too. Only time will tell if flying this car there would pose any challenges or not. Seeing cars fly in the city is something many have dreamed about since they were a child. Someone from the audience must have surely got tears in their eyes, viewing their childhood dream being brought to reality. Speaking of tears, did you know that this vehicle is actually tear-shaped? Well, it really is. Another bunch of people that this vehicle really impresses are the environmentalists. Guess why? Yes, it's because the car comes with an electric engine and produces no carbon emissions. The car also impresses racers and other individuals who have a thrill for speed. Well, that is because the vehicle can fly at speeds up to 80 miles per hour with the aid of its eight beautiful propellers, two at each corner of the vehicle, that aid in safe landing and takeoff. This promises grounds for racing at these tiny flying machines. Another great fact about this car is that it is programmed to fly autonomously, which is a big yay for many of you who loathe driving or having to pass driving tests to secure a license. I mean, come on, getting a license in some countries is truly traumatic, isn't it? Anyway, back to the topic of Xpeng X2, in short, it was a huge success. So right after the company got a pat on the back for this marvelous product, Xpeng Aero HD introduced a second flying car prototype. Yes, that's right. They didn't bask in their glory for long and decided to put in a lot of hard work and created the Xpeng X3. How do we know that? While the Xpeng X3 was unveiled in a video that was released on the 24th of October 2022, and it showcased a car with wings. We thought it was just Red Bull that gave us wings. Red Bull gives you wings. 
but looks like the X-Bang X3 gives us wings too. But in complete honesty, a car with wings really does beat the Nimbus 2000 dream that most of us had growing up, doesn't it? The X-Bang X2 also has a closed cockpit, and the overall ensemble of this model is quite futuristic, making it look like a vehicle straight out of a sci-fi film. And if you're not a fan of driving through traffic jams, or if you get claustrophobic parking in tight spots, the X-Bang X2 got you covered as the vehicle can operate in tight spaces due to its space-friendly size. Now, according to the company, X-Bang X3 can be driven just like a regular car being driven on the ground. Only when the owner needs to fly, he can shift from ground mode to flight mode and take off. This really does give away some Buzz Lightyear vibes, because he was truly the only privileged one to be able to switch between moving on the ground by walking or running and flying as and when he wanted. The X-Bang X3 takes off vertically, just like the X-Bang X2, and once it's high in the air, the vehicle can be piloted with the aid of a steering wheel and a right-hand gear lever. This makes us wonder if our driving license nightmares will be back, because I'm sure securing a license to drive these bad boys is not a joke. Now, a big question raging in your mind must be about the price factor. How much do these flying beauties cost? According to the experts, the cost of owning a vehicle such as the X-Bang X2 will be somewhere between $130,000 to $230,000. Whoa, that is indeed a huge amount. Alexa, play Money by Lisa. As of now, X-Bang Motors has big plans to begin serial production of the X-Bang X2 sometime in 2024. So yes, we're going to have a huge fleet of cars after a year, and it's going to be pretty cool. Imagine hopping onto these super cool vehicles and showing up to parties and various events in them. It may even be driving up in a Ferrari or Rolls Royce unless they themselves come up with flying cars of their own. Xpeng Aero HD has been proudly showcasing its talent to everyone, but tough competition is just around the corner. As of now, it has been recorded that more than 500 companies are working on creating similar sorts of flying vehicles. To make the competition even thicker, around two dozen flying car models are currently undergoing their testing. If things proceed in this way, we'll be flying to the mall, to the park, and almost everywhere possible. When Xpeng Aero HT was building the Xpeng X2, their main aim was to change the future of the transportation industry massively, and they did a fine job with that. Though it's just the beginning of the journey, it's just a short amount of time where we can be seen flying to our destination as opposed to driving to it. But as of now, X-Bang Aero HD is off to a good start, and if they keep up this progress tempo, they'll surely ace it in the future and become one of the top contenders in the industry. With that, we come to the end of the video. Hope you had fun with us today, and we can't wait to see you in our next video. And if you liked today's video, then do check out more videos like this on our channel. Also, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more updates.